Hello and welcome, Movember Failure, Lena Mueller reviewer here, and today we're going to be talking about that new release from Boy Genius, um, a self-titled EP, and Boy Genius consists of three of the 2010's most acclaimed singer-songwriters, those being Lucy Dacus, Julian Baker, and Phoebe Bridgers, um, all come from kind of different backgrounds, I would say, uh, Julian Baker is more doing slowcore stuff, um, Phoebe Bridgers is more folk, and then Lucy Dacus is more indie rock, um, um, but the fact that these three members have decided to come together and work, it took them four days, I think it was, to record this whole thing. Um, I think it's more of an interesting and exciting prospect um, to see if any sort of like um, quirks that they all have um, like mix together well, if it will come with some interesting results. Um, it's not as scary or as just daft as something like Shaggy and Sting making an album, which happened. Let's not think about that though. If you have some degree of familiarity with um, any of the artists involved, you'll not be surprised to hear that this project is quite bittersweet. Bite the Hand opens up everything. Uh, Lucy Dick is on lead vocal duties and she's basically telling this romantic interest partner whatever that she can't just distill all her best traits and just get rid of any of the negative quirks. It's, again, quite bittersweet, melancholic. Um, and then Bridgers and Baker come in on back and duties and a bit of some kind of like late distortion and tow and um, everyone just kind of comes together it turns the emotiveness up to 11 and um, just th the chemistry that is represented on here is absolutely to die for and just kind of makes and um, this collaboration feel like necessary the same can be said about the song stay down where julian baker takes on lead vocal duties and um, starts off with these like lone keys and guitar sets a desolate scene and um, then when Baker starts singing, um, she starts off quite timid and then just kind of like naturally ramps up to just letting all this pain from this breakup sort of like just leak out and it is more of a leak in, in, as opposed to being like a flood of emotion um, and that again that kind of natural build up to it again makes it sort of like a triumphant payoff to it all as opposed to her just like putting all her cards on the table and lessening the overall impact of the climax of this song. Catch in Idaho can be thrown into this same camp as well. There's some really beautiful harmonies going on here um, which really does fit into the fact that they're talking about trying to go somewhere more isolated and tranquil and just all around beautiful like the location that is the title of this song and I think it was also a really nice touch how the only instrument used on this is Phoebe Bridger's acoustic guitar and um, which obviously ties in to the isolation and um, that everyone involved in this track yearns for. Apparently this was something that uh, the three members had talked about before how they all wish to get somewhere just far away from where they are just now, kind of like a fresh start, which is um, I guess quite a relatable topic in that, and the way they end up forming it is more of a kind of like indie folk ballad, um, it was just, oh, just a really lovely track, and um, again just kind of made it made this EP and this song feel like a real worthwhile adventure. In general I'm quite fond of this EP, the only things that really stop me going as far as saying it's great is the running time as an EP, you only have so much time to work with, and I do feel that the that Boy Genius would benefit more from like an album where they have more time to sort of like tinker with their ideas where we could have more songs like Catch in Idaho um, because it feels like maybe sometimes they get a bit sort of a uh, prototypical I think I'm thinking of the song Me and My Dog um, where it wasn't, isn't exactly a bad song by any means but it can feel a bit predictable and doesn't really feel like a wholly like group effort um, much like how like I say, songs like Stay Down, uh, Bite the Hand and that where they feel totally realised and feel worth um like having these three people involved um but besides that i was just incredibly fond of this project like i say i wish there was a bit more time for them to work with and um, but i'm glad that this exists which is always just uh, i guess that's pretty much the the bare minimum for any sort of ep or album but there's a there are a few songs from here that i'll return to and i'll probably just return to this ep in full because like i say it wasn't really a bad song it's just i wish that um Maybe there was a bit more time that they could have put into it, whether that be like actually like produ producing it since they only had four days to go about recording it, or if they just had the time to make a full album where they could there's just be more time to kind of like push themselves forward and feel like I say a bit more fully realised. But in terms of what's laid out in front of me, I'm not feeling famished at all. And in terms of the score, I'm thinking a strong seven. For this if you guys have listened to it let me know what you think of it favorite song least favorite song a rating if you listen to bridgers dacus or baker before let me know what you think of their work as well thank you for watching and stay safe and also 
stay hydrated.